Fred Randy back. Uh, I think on my last video I said uh, try to get out here in the next couple of days and do this and this and this. Uh, how about a couple of weeks? Yeah, I finally, finally went to the doctor about a week after I uh, messed up my calf muscle and uh, kind of worried about it. It was, sw it was sw swollen and, you know, hurting. I couldn't walk on it, but uh, went up there and they, you know, x-rayed it, checked it, and then, uh, you know, I messed, messed the muscle up pretty good, but they gave me a boot. Uh, I wore it around for about a week. Uh, felt like Frankenstein, but it helped. Uh, and uh, get, getting back to pretty much normal, well, as normal as I ever was, but, you know, uh, getting to where I can get back out in the shop and do something. So here we go. I, I was just going to show you all a couple of things that I'm going to do here. Uh, all these uh, places here where this jam meets up with this, this piece along here, there's a little lead in there. They put lead over these joints. So I need to get rid of that. I need to take some heat, put the torch on it. And I think down here, I've got a little lead in there. A little, uh, little bit of lead where that joint was at. So I need to make sure all that lead's out of the way. And then back here on the four door, in this area from right along here, back to here, all that's uh, leaded. That's a joint. The, uh, the two door don't have it because the quarter and the, this, all this back here is one piece. So it don't have that leaded joint down here on the rocker. But you know, I got to weld this along here. So I need to get rid of all that lead that's in there. Uh, I got a couple little places where this overlaps here. I need to trim that back just a little bit on each side. Uh, I've got these, well, this piece up here, and I don't know if you can see it or not, but it's this piece here that, that uh, you know, rounds over, goes around the uh, door jam up there. I've got the one on the driver's side. I've got it put up in there. I worked on it for a good while and got it fitting like, it, like it's supposed to uh, so I can weld it in. Don't want to weld it in yet. I want to get this quarter uh, on there and tacked in and then come up here and put all this in place. Uh, but I got everything fitting really good. And I tell you, man, it, it takes it takes so much time. Uh, you get you get it fitting in there good and you know you find something else. Uh, but I I don't wanna I don't wanna weld that thing in place and then find out that there's something back in here that I need to trim that I can't get to. You know, uh, I want to make sure that when I put it up there and weld it, I'm done with it. I don't want to go back and have to cut a loose and re-weld and beat and bang. I just want to put it in there like it's supposed to be and weld that sucker up and, and be done with it. So I, I made up my mind a while ago. I've been working on both sides. Uh, you know, trying to get them, get them done. And I've got them pretty much to the same stage. But I figure what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take this side, take this panel back out. I'm gonna trim this up here a little bit. This hole, I'm gonna make sure I got room on this piece back here if it's in the way. Cause there's a little rubber uh, pad that goes there that your door rests against. And I want to make sure that hole is clear all the way back. Uh, and then this piece here, I have to put it in. It attaches to that piece that I was showing y'all a while ago, right along here. And then it comes out of this corner. But that, that won't be no problem. It'll just be a short piece of metal I'll put in there that'll join up with this and come on out. But anyway, that's what I'm going to do is just work on this side, get this side welded in, and uh, then I'll go to the other side and do it the same way. But I, I just feel like if I just focus on this side, I'll get it done a lot quicker. Uh, get all the little things tweaked and ready to go. But I'm going to do the, do the lead now. And wherever I get it, 
uh, melt it out of there and get the metal cleaned up. I'll come back. I'm gonna put the panel in and start tacking it in place, making sure everything's right, tack it, and go, go around it and weld it. All right, I'll be back in a little while. Give you all a look at this. Uh, got it uh, all tacked in all the way around down here at the bottom. Everything fit pretty good. Uh, I had to uh, down here, this was overlapping a little bit, and I had to take the Dremel and just kind of you know trim it off and get it get it smooth right there and I tacked it down but it all looks pretty good uh, of course you got these areas where you know I had to get this I wanted to get this body line right here pretty even this up here I've still got to pull it over just a little bit and it'll push down some but I'll probably have to maybe split this and drop it down a little bit and maybe split this and pull it up a little bit, you know, to make those two meet right there. But uh, you'd think that they were, there wouldn't be that much difference in the, you know, the way they are shaped. And then up here, this peak right here is uh, a little more round. This right here is pretty, pretty sharp, the way that peak is on that piece. But uh, they're gonna line up pretty good uh i don't know might have a little bit of an issue down here but i think uh i can add a piece a small piece of steel in there and bring this together pretty easy that won't be hard to fix there got to fill that in uh the door gap <clears throat> is uh pretty good it's a little more than I wanted up here, but uh, the thing about the gap is though, is I can, I can build up on the edge of the door to close this up right here. It don't need to be closed up that much, just a little bit around that edge. And then from here down to along here, it's okay. And the bottom, 
I can build up on the edge of the door around here to fill this up a little bit. But uh, it's not going to be perfect, but it's going to be, be pretty close. It's going to look pretty good. And uh, I don't know if y'all can see. If you look down the side of it, everything looks, looks pretty good. You know, lines up really good, uh, pretty smooth. So I'll, I'll tell how smooth it is when I start doing that body work. But next, uh, what I want to do, uh, I was going to get on the inside and uh, do this inner structure up here, try to get it pulled into place and tacked in place, this piece here, uh, and then get this other piece right up here put in uh, but as you can see i probably need to clean this out uh so i can even get in there to work but i'll uh i'll clean this junk out get the inside cleaned out put some of this stuff up and then i'll go on the inside and try to tack all that stuff in and uh i'll come back show y'all how I how it turned out. All right, be back in a little while. in here uh, it don't fit just right back here and I see there's a you know a little difference here but it don't matter about that I'm not putting a roll-up window in it anyway all I need is a smooth channel to put the glass up against so uh, anyway let me check this outside Let's see. Yeah, need to pull out a little bit. Right there, come out this way. But anyhow, I'll uh, I'll start tweaking that and tack it in, uh, get it stuck in place, and then I'll put me a plate over this and fill that in out to here and uh you know finish welding this up and then it'll be a matter of uh stitching it solid around and this side will be pretty much pretty much done i still have to add some metal down here to finish this off weld that up 
and then down here i figured what i'd do on this panel is just make me some little some l brackets maybe so wide six inches and uh drill holes in them on the along the bottom edge have it bend it to where it'll run along this little peak here and uh weld it to the rocker down here and then to this put a strip here and then put a strip back here on that to hold the bottom secure and then in the back i'll just probably back here i'll probably just make a strap maybe a inch and a half two inch strap that'll just go all the way down to maybe here and uh Right along here and then just make a strip that'll overlap this and butt up to the wheel well there and you know weld it to keep it from moving around make you know put it so it'll be be secure and not be moving but anyway uh you can see how that fits there comes over that comes around that curve and then down all right well all right, I kept working. I thought I'd show y'all, uh, I got this this piece in here, got it welded in, and I got my little plate to connect this and close it in. I've got it tacked in there. I gotta finish welding it. Uh, and I gotta finish welding this back here. But I've got to go out, I've got to make a little piece to fill that little crack back there. A little void but uh just i just kind of hit these spot wells and that'll be in uh then i gotta finish welding the outside up but i think i'm gonna call it a night uh let that be it uh but i appreciate all y'all watching uh maybe this will help somebody along the way uh one thing i was going to tell y'all before i ended the video was uh I uh the other day I was on the other side uh messing with this thing and uh I was putting the quarter piece up there and you know when my leg hurt I still can't bend it you know like I squat down or kneel down <clears throat> very well but uh I was putting that quarter in over there and I said well heck let me back this thing up and put it on the lift and uh I did. I pushed it back. I put it on the lift and raised it up. And uh, whenever I put the quarter up there, you know, I had some lines marked to where I had the quarter lined up over there. Uh, I had it on the lift so I could work, you know, work standing up. And uh, man, the quarter didn't line up. All down here, it was overlapping. Uh, the marks didn't line up. Uh, it was just a mess. Uh, and I couldn't figure it out. Then it hit me. I said, well, it might be flexing, having it up on the lift like that. Uh, and sure enough, I let it back down and put the quarter up there and everything lined back up. So I don't know what it is. Uh, I've got a whole new floor structure in here and everything. Rockers are solid. But I guess when you cut the uh, post out here on the four door and you don't have that little bit of support, you know, this thing will flex, would you? So uh, I had to let it back down on the ground and uh, I've been working on it like this. So anyway, that's just a little, little something I ran into that, that might help you uh, along the way. But anyway, uh, I appreciate everybody watching. Uh, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Uh, you got any ideas or anything that I could do different? Let me know. I appreciate all the input. Uh, subscribe to the channel. And uh, just trying to help somebody else along the way. Uh, help somebody else that's doing this. But uh, I appreciate it. And we'll see y'all next time.